Mars coverage. My name is Vladimir and I want to show you how are you being lied to. Now, first of all, I want to tell you that I watched a video by Sam from Mars Unmasked and he was one of the pictures, he was um, recovering, that would be the proper word for that, uh, was SOL 410 that would be soul 410 and um, just give me a second it's been taken on October 1st 2013 that's what NASA says now I don't believe a word of what I read and hear from them so I'll show you what the real picture is and um, here we go. First of all, I I did do this video once, and I'm doing it for a second time. So this is what I got the first time, and then I was interrupted interrupted by phone. Anyways, I will do a duplicate of this layer here, and I will do some adjustments like brightness and contrast. Trust, this brightness, like that. And then I will do some levels. Levels. I've seen that from in a video by Space Cadet. And he uh, says this is what actually makes sense. If you see this and it ends here, then the lower border should start here. And I don't do the RGB altogether, I do them channel by channel. I do the red, then the green, and last blue one. It doesn't matter which order, it just matters that you do all the channels. So this is what you get. Trust me, this is still not the real picture I'm looking at. But first of all, I want to show you these borders here. Let me take the hand and these borders here. <clears throat> I mean, these corners. These corners look like this whole sky thing has been cut out and placed over the real picture. These are the corners of this paper cutout and I'll show you more once we get there. Just hold on. Now we go to sharpening, we go to smart sharpen. Just for a little bit of sharpening here. And I click OK. I already have a preset that I'm using. It doesn't work for every picture, but it works for the most of them. <clears throat> and it definitely works for this one. I'll show you why. Let's just wait for a second. take some time but what I'm about to show you is not like anything you've seen before unless you've been on Mars and I want to tell you something about NASA NASA are Illuminati and these guys they believe in stuff like karma things like that and uh, instead of lying to you that this is Mars and making a computer generated image they will put an actual photo of Mars 
but they will mask it so hard that you think you're seeing something else completely. So technically they are not lying to you, they are showing you the stuff but they are misleading you which technically is not a lie. Okay? This is why they do that. And this is Mars and it's real and it's there but not the way it is being presented to you. So let's move on to um, hold on let's do some blurring now let's go to two points two points okay now once it's finished I'll show you to take most of the color away out and uh, I'm gonna darken the image like this so you definitely see there is a lot more than the previous picture which is down here okay now it looks like there is something there looks somewhat familiar it looks logical but it's not unless you flip the image and I'll show you why let's flip the image right here upside down still doesn't make a lot of sense but let's invert it now and it starts making a lot more sense now uh, what you're looking at is still not good enough so let's darken it a little bit remove some more color like that some more contrast clarity sounds good let's push it up Tell me guys what you're looking at. I'll show you right away. This here is a piece of paper that has been cut and placed over the real picture. This photo is from Mars because there is nothing like that on Earth unless it's Venus or something. Let's say it's Mars for now. Let's see what we're looking at. First of all, these corners here, you see that? It's getting dark here, and these concentric, concentric circles are getting lighter and lighter because the source of light comes from the bottom here, and it gets darker to the center. This is some sort of uh, scanner, and it opens down here. This is, well, that's probably a printout of the original image, and it's probably for, made for the reason to worsen the quality of the image. Because I can show you a real image 
of 140,000 bytes and because this image is that big and uh, it has so much more detail than this stuff here as displayed in the original this one there is so much more detail in a real photo <clears throat> but I'll show you right away why this is Mars okay you just ignore this this is a paper cut out placed over a real photo now, this here is a highway and uh, you can see a lot of vehicles all kinds of vehicles bigger smaller They are mostly facing this direction here or this direction there. I think these here, this, these on these lines here, are going out of these tunnels. These vehicles are coming in these tunnels, and the highway goes all the way to here where the photo ends. Now there is more lanes here and they basically I don't know what this is called in English but it just exits and go to the city that is up here and back there now if you don't believe me take a better look I'll leave it like that for a second and I'll clear some stuff for you See that now the way I clear the images is I have my fade and sharpen tool I do it at 50 so it's not as strong and then I click instead of click and drag better now let's go back to the exits here and as you can see there is some signs up here some pyramids whatever that is I made the photo quality so bad and I've seen some really complex filtering out the details it includes colors different colors it's just simply not made by a human being this is done by software and software misses stuff so guys tell me what you think and I'll show you again what I see I see highway here probably five lanes per direction one goes into the city which will be underground and this is where the tunnels are there's so much detail here there's so much stuff here I've been thinking guys how many anomalies do you need how many photos do you need to know that NASA is plain lying to you how many I say one and we've got thousands and thousands many many people do this just what I do do it as well well I've seen no one flipping the photos <clears throat> But I'm, I want to ask you this, if you don't believe that NASA is flipping the photos, why would you believe that NASA is lying to you? Let's put it the other way around. If you think NASA is lying to you, why would you not believe that NASA is flipping the photos 
upside down. Why? You tell me this in the comments, please. I want to know why. If you watch this, please comment. I don't want you to like it unless you do like it. I want you to click the like button. I don't want you to subscribe unless you're interested in what I have to say. But generally, I want to know what you think about this. See that? There's so much detail. There's so much, so many buildings here. There's, this looks like some writing on the wall here. I don't know. I, I guess I'll be doing this particular image for many, many more hours. And if I find something really interesting, I mean, the whole photo is an entire city from top to bottom. Well, if we exclude this piece of paper here, which has the corners bent. I'm sorry, NASA, but you should work harder on lying. If you think you're a good liar, you should do a better job. So guys, thanks for watching. I don't want to make this a long video. As you can see, I've shown you an entire city with vehicles, tunnels. Here are the tunnels, here are the buildings. There is enormous size buildings. These are probably carved into the ground itself. I probably should have prepared this a bit longer, but I wanted you to see that it's there. I'm not making this up. You can do it yourself. And you don't need, you don't even need Photoshop to do that. The, the tools that I'm using, they're found in any image software and you can do it yourself <clears throat> as I've shown you here in this video so thanks for watching see you next time